All right, so for this video, I'm going to be doing a tier list on all of the Godzilla films. And I also threw in some of the Godzilla TV series in as well as a bonus. Previously, I was doing individual videos on each Godzilla film, but they get much less views than the rest of the videos on my channel. And I have kind of lost interest in continuing to do a one by one series of each one and have focused more on anime and manga instead. So I'm just making this video to cap off that series and put a rating on all of the Godzilla films. So anyway, let's get right into the video. Let's start off with the original. Obviously, it's going to be S tier. It's the one that started all off. Probably the best film in the franchise in my opinion. The movie was a sci-fi masterpiece at the time that it came out and it still holds up well to this day and thus it remains the gold standard of Godzilla films. Next here we have Godzilla Raids again. Um, I'm gonna have to go C tier here. I'm very close to putting it in B just because um, I really enjoy the early films. It is an important film due to having uh, being the first time that Godzilla fought another monster. Plus it's the introduction of Anguirus which is pretty cool. It's not a horrible film, but it definitely was rushed out trying to capitalize on the popularity of the first film. They made some of the bad decisions with the special effects. The monster fights use sped up uh, footage that kind of takes away the weight of the monster fights. And this film has probably by far the worst Godzilla suit of any of the films in the entire franchise. So to me this is either the worst of the B tier or the best of the C tier. Next here we have King Kong vs. Godzilla. This one I'm going to go A tier. It's one of the most fun Godzilla films. The spectacle of the famous Japanese monster versus King Kong the American monster was a matchup of the century. The fight scenes were some of the best of any of the Showa era films and it's definitely one of the must watch Godzilla films in my opinion. Definitely one of the most memorable and definitely one of the most fun. Next we have Mothra vs. Godzilla. This one's another A tier. It's another really solid Showa era film. The fight scenes weren't quite as good as Kong vs. Godzilla, but this one has a really good plot and memorable characters. Probably the best plot and human characters since the original. This one also makes the A tier for me. And next here we have Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster. This one I'm going to put slightly lower than than King Kong vs. Godzilla or Mothra vs. Godzilla. It's way better than Raids Again. Uh, this one's closer to the border of A and B for me, where Raids Again was more on the border of B and C. This one's solid. It's um, not quite as fun as King Kong vs. Godzilla and not quite as good as Mothra vs. Godzilla. I think the human plot was a little bit weak and you see the series taking a more cheesy kid-friendly turn that the franchise will continue on for the next several films. This one's memorable because it is the first with King Ghidorah and the fights with King Ghidorah are obviously classic but I don't think as a movie it holds up quite as well as some of the other ones so it's just a little bit lower. And then we have the invasion of Astro Monster. So this one has King Ghidorah back again. This one I enjoy the plot a little bit more. I'm going to put it on the A tier. This one's much more of a sci-fi plot. Um, I like the visuals more. I like the human characters and the plot more in this, in this film. Once again, they do some kind of cheesy stuff and silly moments that kind of take away from the film. But once again, another one of the must-watch Godzilla films. Can't go wrong really with any of the early films, but this one's another one of the classics from the uh, Showa era that set up the franchise as the uh, massive franchise that it is today. And the next one here we have uh, Ebera, Terror of the Deep. This one I'm going to put on B tier. Um, this one I feel like gets more hate than it should get. I don't think it's a bad film at all and with time it's actually become one that I kind of enjoy. It's a bit less serious and a lot of people hate it because Ebra is not really the coolest monster. It doesn't really put up the best fight for Godzilla. But I've come to kind of enjoy it more over time and I think it's pretty charming and pretty fun. So I don't really consider it one of the worst Godzilla films that I see some people rank it as. So it's going to be a B tier for me. It's definitely not one of the must watch essential Godzilla films, but it's pretty, it's pretty fun. And I definitely do still enjoy it. And next we have Son of Godzilla. This one is one that I didn't like too much at first, probably because of the introduction of uh, Minya. But over time it's kind of grown on me. I'm going to put it kind of out the borderline. It's kind of going to be B tier for me. 
probably not one of the higher B tier, but it's kind of a fun film. Um, definitely more on this one going more in the kid friendly direction that you'd see in the future. It's not one of the best films, but I did kind of enjoy the plot. It did end up being one of the more fun films in my opinion. This is not really one of the best films in any way, but but overall the film has a fun feel to it that is really memorable to me and is one that I look back on fondly now. And although I say it's not one of the best plots, it's probably one of the more memorable plots and characters to me compared to some of the films where I kind of would forget what they were about outside of what monster Godzilla is fighting. This one I actually remember much more so it was much more memorable to me. Next we have Destroy All Monsters. This one I'm going to put in A tier. It's really the last of the classic films and I believe was intended at one point to be the final Godzilla film, kicking it off in a big final battle, bringing in the most monsters we've ever seen in a single film before. The plot of the film and the human characters are not the best, but seeing all those monsters fight in a single film was really awesome, and it definitely remains to be one of the most memorable films in the franchise to me. It's definitely one of the films that I would say is a must watch for people who are not into Godzilla films. And here is uh, Godzilla's Revenge. It's widely considered the worst Godzilla film. I'm also going to put it in the D tier. I don't hate it quite as much anymore, but this one went all in on making Godzilla a franchise for children. It has really annoying kid characters. Uh, Minya's the main character, really, as far as um, the monsters go, um, rather than Godzilla. You know, it still has a little bit of that charm that a lot of those old movies have that makes it kind of watchable. It's not a long movie, too, so it doesn't, like, bore you too much. So it's not really, like, egregiously bad or, or torturous to watch, but it's definitely not a good film either. I got it in the D tier. Um, it's not an F tier for me, um, though I know a lot of people put it in the F tier. Um, next we're going to go Godzilla vs. Hedera. This one is uh, kind of a weird film. I'm going to go B tier. Um, it's not perfect, but I've always actually liked it. I think it's a pretty pretty cool film. I've always liked Hedera as a, an enemy for Godzilla. thought it was a pretty uh, unique uh, monster. I really like the fights between Godzilla and Hedera, some of my favorite uh, monster fights. I like how it's kind of like a, a kind of a strange film too, where it goes into like animated sections and it has like a, this weird like psychedelic stuff. It's kind of like a crazy film, so I really like this one. So I'm just gonna go B tier though, because it's not perfect. Um, the strangest of the film is kind of double-edged, uh, kind of makes it more interesting and memorable, but also detracts from you know being like a truly solid great film. So next is Godzilla vs. Gigan. This one and Godzilla vs. Megalon kind of go in a more silly direction, more, more kid-friendly direction. I'm still going to give it a B. This one was pretty fun and pretty memorable. I just love Gigan's monster design. I like the tag team between Godzilla and Anguirus vs. Gigan and King Ghidorah. It was just a fun movie. Definitely not one of the best, but um, definitely worth watching. Definitely has like the classic charm of the films from that era. So I'm going to put it B. I'm also going to put Godzilla vs. Megalon in B. This one is super cheesy. It has Jet Jaguar and the infamous Jet Jaguar theme song. Really silly film, but also um, a charming and fun film. So I'm going to put it in B. All right, now we have Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. This one's really solid, um, close to an A tier, but I'm still gonna go B. I don't think it's quite on level with the uh, other A tiers I have, but stronger than most of the B tiers that I have. Um, this one's really a, a classic uh, Godzilla film as well. It's kind of got a typical plot for um, the Godzilla films at its time. Not the most interesting plot, but pretty decent. Got Mechagodzilla is one of Godzilla's classic enemies, so it's cool to see his introduction here. A uh, solid film. And then we have Terror of Mechagodzilla. This one I'm also going to go B. Um, a lot of the Godzilla films I would say are, I rank them, since I like Godzilla films, rank them kind of above average uh, for the average film. So I'm going to have probably like a lot of B tiers here. Um, I would say the average Godzilla film is probably a B tier to me. Terror of Mechagodzilla, not quite as good as the, the first one, um, a little bit cheesier, but still pretty solid. The last of the Showa era and the last Godzilla film that Ishiro Honda would direct. It's another solid one, I would recommend it as well. Now we have the first of the Heisei films, Godzilla 1985. This one I'm gonna go, this one's closer to an A tier, um, but I'm still gonna go B. Um, it's not 
my absolute favorite, but it's a pretty good remake, kind of recapturing the classic feel of the original Godzilla as Godzilla with time kind of became a hero and defender of Earth, this film reset the series, kind of uh, resetting it back to taking place after only the original, resetting to where you have Godzilla being a true threat to humanity again. It's pretty cool to see since it's something we hadn't seen in a while. Next we got Godzilla vs. Biollante. This one, um, I'm gonna actually go S. Probably my favorite of the Heisei films. I think Biollante is one of Godzilla's coolest enemies. The film was always one of the most memorable to me um, from my childhood. I thought it was a really good like balanced film between the plot with the, the human characters and the monster fights. I thought it was uh, really everything I would want the God Godzilla film to be at its time. So I'm going to go S tier. And then we have uh, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. This one's another really good, really solid Heisei era film. I really like the plot. I really like the portrayal of King Ghidorah. Didn't love his backstory of being created from the Dorats, but I did like time travel aspect to the story. I thought it was an interesting uh, take that they haven't done before. Uh, I'm gonna go A tier. It's one of the stronger films. A little, I like it a little bit less than Godzilla vs. Biollante, but it's pretty close. It's one of the, um, it's definitely one of the better Godzilla films. So I'm gonna go A. Godzilla vs. Mothra, I'm gonna go B. It's pretty good, but a uh, step down from the last two films. I thought the plot was more boring. Human character plot was not nearly as good as the last two. It was one that I liked a lot when I saw as a kid, and it still holds up. So it's gonna be a B. It's, it's solid, but not great. For Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2, this one's really solid, a step up in the human side of the story. I really like what they did with Mechagodzilla, having him kind of be built off the skeleton of the original Godzilla. That was pretty cool. It's not my absolute favorite, so I'm gonna once again keep it slightly below the A tier, but uh, another good film. For Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, I'm gonna go slightly lower, I'm gonna put it in C. It's not one of my favorite. It's the point where I kind of felt like the Heisei era films were kind of getting tired. This one was really boring. I could barely remember what the human characters were doing. The logic behind the creation of Space Godzilla was really uh, a stretch and not really well thought out. His design does look cool though. Looking back, I probably should have went with uh, Son of Godzilla also in the C tier. I don't really put it in quite on the level of the other B-tier films, and I don't think it's better than uh, Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. So I'm gonna go with it, I'm gonna actually change my pick there and go with C-tier. It does have some charm, I do kind of like some things about it, like as I said before, but it isn't that great of a film, so I am gonna put the, uh, drop that down to C-tier. Next we have Godzilla vs. Destroya. I'm gonna go uh, A-tier on this one, close to an S-tier but uh, maybe just a small step down from S. This one I really like, borderline S tier for me. It really felt like at the time, the conclusion of Godzilla uh, really wrapped everything up nicely. You know, and it, it really ended everything on a bang. When it came out, I remember, even though the film was not released here in the United States, killing off Godzilla um, in the film uh, was a big deal. It's a really good film, it has awesome monster fights, some of the best. Destroya is one of the coolest enemies that Godzilla ever had to go up against. One of the strongest monsters, so really awesome design, really awesome fights, and really good film. Now we are into the Millennium series. Um, this is Godzilla 2000. It's an okay film. I'm gonna go back to uh, B tier, another B tier film. It gets a little bit boring at times. Uh, Orga is kind of cool, but it's not the most memorable of Godzilla's adversaries. Some cool uh, effects, some cool fights. Still a pretty good film, but not one of the absolute best. We have Godzilla vs. Megaguirus. This one, um, another uh, B tier, a decent film. Some cool monster fights. Another one that's decent but kind of gets a little bit boring at times. It's kind of something that plagues a lot of the, um, especially I think the Millennium series. As the more recent films got longer, they sometimes struggle to fill the film with interesting plot for like a two hour movie. 
where a lot of the older ones, like the Showa era films, would be an hour and a half long. So even though the plot wasn't that good, it never really had to, enough time to get really boring. Some of the Millennium films and even some of the Heisei, like Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, would kind of drag at times. It's an enjoyable film. It's one that I could watch and enjoy it today. It's not bad or anything, just not really one of the more memorable ones, so it's just B. Alright, this one is Godzilla, Mothra, King Ghidorah, Giant Monsters, a lot of attack. This one is, in my opinion, the best of the Millennia series. Probably the best since the original. Maybe my second favorite after the original. This one, definite S tier. If you haven't watched it, I definitely would recommend it. This one, I think, had some of the most interesting plot. I really enjoyed the way that they made Godzilla like a threat to humanity again. Um, it was really interesting the way they had Godzilla go up against uh, King Ghidorah, Mothra, and Baragon in this one and actually have King Ghidorah be on the good side of the fight, being the one fighting against Godzilla to protect humanity. I thought it was a really interesting portrayal of Godzilla, really different, um, rather than just him being a monster, he's uh, kind of like a vengeful spirit um, of people killed by Japan in wars coming to get revenge on Japan. It was a really interesting portrayal of Godzilla, one of the more creative films, and engaging on the human side, never got boring, definitely one of the best, one of the must-see Godzilla films, so definite S tier. And we have Godzilla against Mechagodzilla, another B tier. Not one of the most memorable or fun films, but still pretty good. Good effects, pretty solid on the human characters on this one, and pretty good fights, so it's decent. Then we have uh, Tokyo SOS, which is another uh, film that features Mechagodzilla. Somewhat of a kind of sequel to the last film. Another B. I don't think it's quite as good as Godzilla against Mechagodzilla but still good enough for a B tier. I think this one has a little bit less of a solid plot. Um, a little more boring than the last one, but still gonna pull out in the B tier. It's, it's solid, just not great. This one is Godzilla Final Wars. I'm actually gonna go A tier on this one. It's not a good movie in terms of, you know, actually being a good movie, but it's easily the most fun in the entire franchise. It's a spectacle that's must-see for any Godzilla fan or anyone who likes monster movies. This one's basically just about Godzilla going around and fights pretty much every monster he's fought in the past and absolutely destroys all of them. It's got the, the best monster fights. It's all action. It's, it's a dumb movie um, with crazy fight scenes between the human characters and, and everything, but it's, it's easily the most fun film. If you want to watch something crazy and watch something just entertaining, definitely this is the pick. You'll see Godzilla go up against pretty much every monster and most of them he'll just destroy. This film is uh, definitely extremely fun. It was the last Godzilla film for a while and it kind of felt like it capped everything off. Capped off the whole franchise and just like this huge extravaganza of crazy monster fights. It just was a lot of fun. Now we have Shin Godzilla and this one's an S for me. I really enjoyed Shin Godzilla. I thought it really was a unique take on Godzilla. It was the reboot that we needed, in my opinion. Pretty much everything with Godzilla felt like it's been done over and over again. So many times, even with like the American Godzilla in 2014, which I still have to get to. It just feels like the, they just kind of go over the same type of story all the time, where um, Shin Godzilla felt like something that um, was recognizable as Godzilla, and the plot was kind of recognizable as a Godzilla film, but they changed Godzilla into something totally different, totally alien feeling, and had him be a real threat to humanity, and really kind of recaptured kind of the feeling and the, the fear of the threat of Godzilla that hasn't been seen since the original. It's kind of touched on in uh, GMK is the only really other film that, that has done that. It was directed by Hideaki Anno of Neon Genesis Evangelion fame. So that was intriguing when it came out just to see him uh, take on a live action film and it definitely worked. I really thought it brought the franchise to the place it needed to be. And if we were going to make a modern Godzilla film, this really, you know, checked all the boxes of what I thought a modern Godzilla film should be like. I really enjoyed Shin Godzilla. Definite S tier for me. Um, one of the best Godzilla films of all time, in my opinion.
So that's really the, all the main, uh, you know, Toho Godzilla films. The ones in S and A tier are the ones that I consider uh, the must-watch Godzilla films. If you're not really too familiar with Godzilla films or you haven't watched many of them and you don't want to watch like an entire 30 plus film franchise, um, I would pick from those films that I have in S and A tier. S are the absolute best. Um, A are also, I would consider the must watch where the uh, other ones are more, um, I would just watch if you're a big fan and you want to watch the whole uh, franchise or you you really like the more essential films and want just want more. As a bonus, I'm going to do the, the American Godzilla films and the uh, animated films as well as some of the TV series. This is the first animated Godzilla film, uh, Godzilla Planet of the Monsters. It was originally released to Netflix during the time where um, Legendary had the rights to make the live action Godzilla films. I'm going to go with C on this one. I thought it introduced some interesting ideas. I kind of liked what it set up with Godzilla, um, Godzilla Earth. Um, I thought he was pretty cool. Um, the biggest Godzilla that we've seen so far. I thought it was kind of interesting to see a future where Godzilla defeated humanity and humanity had to leave planet earth due to godzilla's presence and then they come back and try to reclaim earth from godzilla i thought that was a cool plot unfortunately it would not be well executed throughout this film trilogy the film doesn't always look the best um, the cgi in the animation sometimes looks pretty bad and i think um, the characters especially the humans a lot of times look a little weird with the CGI, I don't think it's it looks that great. I liked how um, the plot was set up, but I don't like really the execution of it. I thought um, it ended up being pretty boring and spent a lot of time on the human characters that never really developed and never really interested me, never made you care about them. Which brings us to the next film, which I'm gonna go I'm gonna go D tier. Uh, this one's the most boring of the entire trilogy spends a lot of time on these human characters that you don't care about. The trilogy set up this interesting premise, but they just don't really capitalize on it. You have three movies that just don't really go anywhere. I mean, three movies length of material was just too much for the little bit of development and plot you have here. They had some interesting ideas again with, with like the way Mechagodzilla was portrayed in here, but they don't really ever do anything interesting with it. So it ends up being a very boring film. Um, low point so far. I don't think it's an S, an F tier, which I would reserve for the all time worst movies. I don't think Godzilla actually has an F tier movie in its franchise. This one and Godzilla's Revenge come close. I don't think I actually have a Godzilla film that isn't real F tier to me. Um, I think all the Godzilla films are at least somewhat enjoyable. They're at least fun. You know, there's other monster franchises with F tier films like uh, Gamera has like Gamera Super Monster, uh, which is like a true F tier uh, or other kaiju films like Daigoro versus Goliath that I would put in F tier. I don't think any film in the Godzilla franchise is that bad. I'm also going to put uh, Godzilla um, the Planet Eater also into D tier. This is another very boring film with another cool premise with the way that King Ghidorah is portrayed. You know, he's this massive monster kilometers long that can destroy a whole planet and he's kind of uh, doesn't really have like a physical body which makes it hard for Godzilla to fight. It's a really kind of cool different approach to King Ghidorah but the way the movie takes it ends up being uh, boring and just doesn't go anywhere interesting and the characters are uninteresting and it ends up being another boring movie unfortunately. Then we have Godzilla 98. Um, this one's another D tier for me. It was a massive disappointment though for me as a kid. I remember this being like one of the most hyped movie I ever imagined. Um, so many advertisements. It was just so exciting to come out and then when it actually came out and watched it, it was just boring. A lot of people say that it's not really a bad film. It's just not a good Godzilla film and I somewhat would agree. It's definitely a bad Godzilla film because it's just not really Godzilla. It kind of reminds me of that scene in Jurassic Park where the T-Rex runs loose in I believe San Diego where it's running loose in the city. I mean it kind of feels like that scene but with a bigger monster but he's just not as big as, as Godzilla who's like typically leveling cities he's just kind of like running around in the city 
it just doesn't feel like Godzilla. It's disappointing as Godzilla, but I also don't really consider it a good movie. It was really boring to me. It's not a film I would, you know, ever go really go back to to watch again. Maybe it would be a C tier just on its own merits, but just the disappointment factor drops it to a D tier. And then we have Godzilla uh, 2014, the American Legendary Pictures Godzilla. This one I like, I'm actually gonna go A tier on it. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but it was what everything I wanted the American Godzilla to be uh, for the most part. I love Brian Cranston's character. Uh, they made the mistake of uh, having his character killed off too soon because he was by far the most interesting human character. So the film suffers once he's gone, but it's still pretty good, pretty cool monster fights. It was nice to see the American take on Godzilla done right. Um, so I give it an A tier. It's in the up upper echelon of Godzilla films. Then we have Godzilla, King of the Monsters. This one's not quite as good. Um, I'm gonna give it a B tier. It was pretty enjoyable. I liked Godzilla fighting King Ghidorah. Um, I liked how you had Mothra and Rodan. I like the way they brought in some of the recognizable monsters. The human characters were decent at times, sometimes a little annoying, but pretty much okay. Monster fights were pretty much as good as you could hope for. So I actually did like this one quite a bit. A step down from 2014, but uh, pretty close. This is probably my most controversial pick of the entire video, but I'm actually going to put Godzilla vs. Kong all the way in D tier. I did not like this film. Really wanted to enjoy it because I waited for it for a long time uh, to come out, and it was like the first movie in theaters after you know the theaters reopened up. And I really wanted to like this movie. I mean, it seems awesome, you know, Godzilla vs. Kong. You know, it's the rematch of the classic fight from the movie from the 60s, reimagined in the modern time, and just the idea is awesome. Seeing Godzilla vs. Kong is an awesome thing. And the fights were done pretty well, but outside of the monster fights, I just couldn't get over how much of a bad Hollywood movie this is. This movie is pretty much everything that I don't like about Hollywood movies. The characters are so annoying, the plot is just really dumb, and it's boring. As many times as I try to enjoy this film, I ended up coming to the conclusion that, you know, it's basically a two hour long movie and you have like 15 minutes of awesome fight scenes and then an hour and 45 minutes of a bad movie. And I, it's just a movie that I would not want to watch again. If there's a controversial pick in my list that people don't like, um, I think this is going to be it. I think a lot of people rank this B tier or better, but I didn't, I just didn't like it. So that concludes the actual films on this list. I put a couple TV series just as a bonus. Um, the first one is Zone Fighter, which isn't really a Godzilla series, but it's a series that Godzilla makes a few appearances in as an ally to the uh, main character Zone Fighter. And this one is basically Toho's answer to Ultraman. It's kind of a poor man's Ultraman. I'm gonna put it in a B tier. It's pretty, in it's it's fairly enjoyable for that kind of kids TV show of its era. The way that Godzilla, King Ghidorah, and Gigan make some appearances in the series is pretty awesome. It's not that great. It's kind of a poor man's Ultraman, but I did enjoy it, so I'll put a B tier. Then we have the uh, Hanna Barbera Godzilla series. This one is gonna be a D tier. It's kind of a typical uh, Hanna-Barbera cartoon that you got from that era where it's just kind of, you know, this episodic kind of monster of the week kind of format. Basically a monster shows up and then everything's kind of concluded in a single episode. You know, it'd be pretty much completely forgotten and completely unnoticed if it wasn't having the Godzilla name on it, if it just had like original characters. It's not very, it's not really very good. Uh, I might put it C tier, but Godzuki drops it to D tier because he's just too annoying. Then you had the uh, Godzilla um, animated series. This one is the uh, the American 1998 Godzilla done right, where I felt like the film was kind of a lazy cash grab off the Godzilla name. This one was actually made with uh, care for the Godzilla franchise. And I'm gonna put a B tier. It's um, probably close to an A tier, kind of on the borderline for me. Um, it's not my ultimate favorite, but it's a, it's a pretty good cartoon. I wasn't really too into it as a kid. Um, I remember it being on TV and the disappointment of the uh, movie kept me from watching the, the animation. I saw it when I was older and it's, it is solid. It, they did a good job. 
and I probably would have loved it as a kid. So I, I regret missing out on that one. And then we have a recent Godzilla singular point. Um, I'm going to put this one just barely in the A tier. It was a pretty good anime. Um, I liked a lot of the direction it took. Thought it, I had a lot of fun watching it week to week. It kept me entertained throughout. It was the Godzilla anime that I've been waiting for for so long. We never really had, uh, other than the the animated trilogy, we never got like a you know Godzilla anime, which I always thought was pretty strange and a missed opportunity. I like that they made a Godzilla anime, and I like that they took it in a different direction rather than retreading the topics that the movies cover. It was really its own thing, its own type of Godzilla. I thought it was really well done. I think sometimes it drags on a little bit where they just throw out too much technical jargon and try to make things sound complicated and waste a lot of time with that and that's probably its biggest weakness but I did really enjoy it um, I would really like to see more Godzilla anime so I'm gonna put this one in the A tier and that's gonna be the end of the list hope you enjoyed it I would definitely appreciate if you would like the video and subscribe definitely would help my channel out and would mean a lot to me I may make more tier lists on other franchises, like maybe Ultraman or uh, Gamera soon. I don't really have any more tier list planned. This is more just to cap off uh, my Godzilla review series that I started um, when I first started the channel. Uh, it was actually my first videos I started working on were Godzilla uh, reviews. I originally planned for my uh, channel to be mostly on, uh, you know, Tokusatsu. I was going to go through the Godzilla films and do like Ultraman and uh, Common writer and all that and I've kind of moved away from that as my content but this is just kind of to cap it off um, but I may do uh, tier lists rather than full reviews on individual movies or series um, so if you would like to see those kind of videos uh, subscribe because they probably will come eventually and um, if you watch this far thanks so much for watching